Dirt Connections, right here, right now. Centerville, Virginia. We're gonna do a little landscaping here. We got some mulch going to the left. We're gonna bring in some unscreened fill dirt here. We're going to put some dirt around the shed. We got a couple of machines here to take care of the customer. So you got that over there. Grade that out and look, make it look nice. Then we're gonna bring some dirt in here. And we're gonna take where the shed was here, soften that grade, take it around to that retaining wall, and then slope it down to where that tree is. And we're gonna kill it out there at that tree. And that'll be nice. Get this all leveled up and have kind of a yard. Anyway, that's a plan. I got straw mat. I got my seed in my buckets. Uh, what's not to like? We're good to go here. So, March 12th. And uh, no fuss, no muss. Reporting back later. Many, many thanks. Well, we got about five loads in here. Getting something done. That's starting to shape up a little bit. I'm working on the shed. Trying to clean that up and make it look a little nicer. I still need, I don't know, six or seven more yards over there so I have enough material to push it around and make it look nice. But slowly but surely it's coming around. So he's doing awesome. Yep. This is going to look really, really nice. Report back later. David and I are getting it done, that's for sure. Yeah, we're gonna make this look super pretty. I got the strong seed over there. But yeah, this is gonna look great. I see it already. The vision is happening. Dirt connections, unscreen fill dirt, screen fill dirt, organic topsoil, grading, site work, demolition, Moving the shed. Contact Dirt Connections. We're right here right now. Thank you. All right. We're making progress, man. The approach for the shed was really nice. And David is doing an excellent job. I stole, shoot, I probably stole 20 yards over there. Probably 20 yards of it trying to make that look nice. So I think we got six loads in here and we're just going to keep on rocking. I'm going to go to Hyattsville. I'm going to leave here around 1030 so I can go do some hand work with the wheelbarrow. That's going to be my exercise for the day. Anyway, I like how the vision is coming to fruition. How about that? Your poet didn't even know it. Looks nice. This is gonna look beautiful. Nice. Good afternoon, folks, second day. Making progress. We put out some good seed on that, laid out the straw mat, some straw. So we got that under control. Now we come around here and we're bringing the dirt to the left of this retaining wall. So that we can cover these stones so the little ones don't get hurt. See all that? That's Mother Nature there. So I'll fill that in, give these people a yard, and then zero out over here where those stumps are. They're not stumps, they're just bo cut logs that are up on, on, up on their sides, not on the sides, up and down, you know. Anyway. Zero out, fill that up, and look nice. So, Helber's running the machine today. He's doing a good job. Yeah, this is looking real good. And once, as soon as we're done, we're gonna cover, hit it with seed and straw, straw mat, so that we don't have an erosion problem. 
Yeah, th these people are getting their yard back. <laughs> they didn't have a yard. Look at those boulders. Unsafe for the kids playing out there. Crack their heads, crack their skulls. Not good. Oh man, this is looking pretty. All right, we're going to report back later. Day two. We're going to be back on it tomorrow. Many thanks. So the yard looks nice. Look, look, looky. Looky here. Looky here. Look at what we're doing. Walk down here a little bit. And we're going to clean this up and make it look nice. And then feather that edge down there. And we're going to put straw and seed down the straw mat. And this is going to look beautiful. And you can see our work there. When you're doing this kind of work, you want to grade it. You want to put your seed and straw down fast because you want to control, you want to uh, do your best do do your best in terms of erosion erosion and sediment control anyway I think it looks nice I'll report back later making progress here grading this dirt out you know we moved the shed over here put that over there that's all graded and seeded and this is what we got here so we've got a couple more days worth of work. Today's Saturday before Easter. None of the site people wanted us to work. Everybody, our customers wanted a break, so no excavating today. So we're not moving any dirt, but this is looking pretty nice. I got 15 rolls of straw mat, 100 pounds of great seed plus and I got the staples for the straw mat. I'll report back later. Thank you. Okay, we're in Centerville, Virginia and we're working on this project. We put some dirt in here and I spent the day trying to dress the place up. It looks good up there where the shed is and I got this yeah, slope coming down so the water can cascade down this way. She's gonna roll on me a little bit. I got it breaking this way, I got it breaking that way. I need to put a little in the center just so it'll cascade out of that little cubby hole, right? And I got the dirt going over there. I got all my straw and seed. I got the water that's gonna come out from behind the wall. There's still more work to do. Tomorrow's Saturday, I'm gonna come here and dig that out, pull that out, push it down there. The owner, Harris, was super great to extend the pipes. He did that. And now, we'll, after I get it dressed up a little bit, we'll decide if we're gonna get a little more dirt. But four hours, five hours tomorrow, make it look even prettier. Many, many thanks. Centerville, Virginia. Doing a little job here. We had this shed, that shed over there it used to be here. We moved it over there. We set it on its blocks, leveled it up. And then we brought in some dirt around the edge to make it look nice, put some straw and seed down. Then we brought a little bit of dirt in over here, graded this place out for the customer. They're happy. They might need a little bit more. They're gonna discuss it. After chatting with the customers, we all decided to, you know, we're getting the water going this way. We got the water going this way. They're going to decide if they want to go to the bank a little bit more and zero out. Because right now it's kind of like a little, kind of like a cliff. And it's soft. I can't push that anymore. I need more material if they choose to. I'm going to fill in right here this little trough and respect the joint and then I have water going out this way I put the straight edge bucket and pulled it all out I feathered that into over there with my straight edge bucket I pulled some dirt out from the bank with the straight edge bucket you can see made that look nicer that down there I have to go down there when we bring in more dirt 
to clean that up. But other than that, uh, it's looking pretty nice. We need some more finish work, but I'll be happy to report later. Here we are, Centerville, Virginia, doing some landscaping and grading for a customer. Looks nice, report back soon. Many, many thanks. Centerville, Virginia, doing the landscape job here. Anyway, they wanted to terrace the ground. So you see how I've done it there, right? I brought in a little bit of dirt. Then they're making this right turn here. And terrace this down here. I only brought in a little bit of dirt because I wanted to show. We want to go a little bit at a time so that the... Uh, so Shauna can, uh, I can make sure that Shauna is happy with what's going on. I don't want to bring too much dirt in here. That is an issue that you need to be careful with, folks. Sometimes you get these guys that just want to bring in a bunch of dirt. And they bring in a bunch of dirt. And it's not really what you want in terms of landscaping. So if you need some screen dirt, unscreened fill dirt, screen fill dirt, screened organic topsoil, Maryland, Virginia, DC, go to Dirt Connections. We're right here right now. We do some grading. And uh, we can do a good job for you. What I really like is I moved this shed about two weeks ago. It's April 20, April 30th, 2022. I put that shed over there two weeks ago. Back graded it with some unscreened fill dirt. Got some high quality seed. Threw down my straw mat and looky there. And that's the same thing that's going to happen here as soon as I get this the way the customer wants it. I got, I think, 15 rolls of of straw mat available. So anyway, whatever you need, dirtconnections.com, we're right here right now for you. I'm working in Centerville, customers making some changes to what they want. I leveled that out over there as per her request. I cut another, you know, cut this bank down to intersect down there with that platform. After leveling this out, I think she wants me to, well, we're going to talk. I'm going to find out what she wants. Then we're going to do the best we can to make it happen. So today is Thursday, May 12th. And I'm still here trying to uh, fix this site up for her. And you can see the great success I've had over here with this area that I graded this. Put straw and seed down, move the shed. Looks pretty. Anyway, I'll report back later. Warming up the machine. We'll put a day's work in here. Rain tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be finished next week. Fingers crossed. We got decent weather. Tuesday and Wednesday, then more rain. Alright, I'll report back later. Many thanks. Okay. I've been working here. And the customer wants this. Anyway, I got pre-approval, dressed it up a little bit. I'm gonna drink a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna invite the homeowner out and make sure that this is what they want. And if it is, then I'm just gonna dress the place up, push this dirt over there, to, over the bank, smooth it out, and they're gonna build the retaining wall here. Anyway, that was some hard work. Had to be smart about it. It was demanding. My little machine worked hard. Anyway, all I want to do is just make sure that this water that comes in here is gonna be able to flow out. As per her husband, they will be responsible for the, for the uh, water outfall. Anyway, so um, it's coffee break time. Chill out and then uh, talk to the homeowners, make sure they're happy, and then start 
dressing the place up a little bit. I'll report back later. Many, many thanks. Well, I'm in Centerville and we're wrapping this up, putting down the seed and straw. As you can tell, this place looks awesome. Customers happy, I'm happy. Load up my stuff, head on over to the next job. They're gonna do some fine tuning out there by hand. They're happy, that's all that matters. I'm really, really grateful, many, many thanks. Grass looks good over there by the shed that I did. Anyway, dirt connections right here, right now. Unscreened filled dirt, screen filled dirt, screened organic topsoil, crushing of materials, screening of material, pond dredging, pond maintenance. Call us, contact the office, dirt connections. We're here, right here, right now. Dirt Connections is right here, right now. Dirt Connections, the professionals. Thank <laughs> you.